Hey guys, this video is going to go on our Myths About Japan playlist and some of you might recognize the topic. We've actually talked about this a little bit before on a couple of other videos, but what's triggered this video is an organization called the Japan Productivity Center has released some statistics and some information this week and it included Japan's ranking in the OECD countries, so in the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development countries, Japan ranks 20th for productivity. So apparently they use GDP and some other various uninteresting economic type statistics and, and information to, to work out how productive people are in different countries. And number one was Ireland, followed by Luxembourg and a few other places. And America made it in the top 10, uh, and Japan didn't. Japan was 20th, and their productivity was, was about $47 an hour compared to Luxembourg, uh, to, compared to Ireland, which was number one at 95, so half of the productivity of, of, of Irish workers. So, not surprising in the slightest, really, and it's sort of, it's interesting because the videos that we've made in the past on this topic have been purely observational, as most of ours are. So just purely from our own observations, what we see, how people work and what they do at work and, and students and how they study and how they work and our own observations. So from our own ob observations, we'd already drawn this conclusion and we'd already made a video about it, talking to you guys about it. And now here it is, these guys have come along with these statistics that basically show the same thing. So it doesn't surprise us in the slightest, because as we've said on those previous videos, is while it's, while it's true that a lot of Japanese people spend a lot of time at work, um, you know, the myth is that Japanese people, people work really hard. That's the myth. And, and that's the myth that people from outside Japan believe in, a lot of a lot of people from outside Japan believe it. it's a common myth and it's a myth that's perpetuated by a lot of Japanese people and if not most if not most it's sort of that some of you might remember we made a video a while ago about reality fantasy and illusion and there's a real conscious effort made well probably subconscious actually it's sort of an automatic effort made by Japanese people to not be seen to be relaxing and so even though it's been recently there's been some holidays some some public holidays for, for new year and so on it's very unusual to see japanese people just lying around relaxing you know they do it in their homes where no one can see them but you won't you can go down the street here on a public holiday and you, you won't see people lying around in their gardens lying in the sun reading books or sleeping or you just don't see it you just don't see it we've showed you videos before about the balconies and verandas and things people have on their homes here and you don't see people sitting around on the balconies here having a snooze or reading a book or something. You just don't see it. And even when people do socialise and go out, go have a picnic in the park or a barbecue, it's all very frantic, you know. There's organise it and do it and do this and do that and do this. There's no sort of lying around on a blanket dozing off to sleep, you know. That's a pretty rare thing to see here. So, and the work thing we've talked about this before is... is they go off to work and spend lots of hours at work and then there's this game at work too that you know spending lots of time at work and being at work long hours sitting at your desk is the way to go whereas there's not really a focus on getting work done or, or doing it in a smarter way or anything else which we've talked about before as well you know so much time is wasted on on just faffing around meetings endless meetings endless meetings where nothing really of importance is discussed um, reports, monthly reports, workers doing monthly reports for their bosses, writing pages and pages on, on what they've been doing in the previous month and they give it to the boss and the boss doesn't read it. You know, and, and we, we know that for a fact because we know people who do it. We know one guy that spends a day or a day and a half a month writing a report on what he does every month and we asked him, do you think the boss reads it? No, probably not because the boss can't because he's got so many staff he doesn't have time to read them all. <laughs> we just lost our lost just lost our front camera guys so we're going to continue with uh with just this camera so so we've already know all this right we already know all this so so 
the other one is school. They, they, this this starts at school. It's the same thing with the school system. We talked about that before as well. That that they think that the doing a lot of something is the solution. So so kids do a lot of going to school. They spend lots of hours at school every week, and they spend lots and lots of hours doing homework, which is usually just repetitive stuff anyway. You know, we're looking. One of our, our family members had some homework recently, and it was just hundreds of math um, questions, math math sums, you know, to do. And it was hundreds of them, and they're all basically the same. So once she'd done the first ten and hadn't made a mistake, it was pretty obvious that she could do them. But she had to sit there and continue to do another four hundred of them, you know. And that's really common, um, often uh, with writing too, Japanese and English. They'll sit there and they'll write the same words, you know, dozens of times, if not hundreds of times, over and over again, just writing the same words again and again and again, which, you know, has no educational value, really. But that's what they do. And again, it's that, it's that image that if you do lots of something that it's productive, where in actual fact it's just not, obviously, you know. And again, when they do those tests, and we talked about that on a previous video, is when they do those tests and tests all the students from the different countries, Japan doesn't score real well. You know, in that in that last one we talked about, it was Finland, wasn't it, that scored really well. They, they were the best. And they do exactly the opposite of what the Japanese school system does. You know, they don't spend many hours a week at, at school at all. They do barely, barely no homework. They have hardly any tests. And they beat everybody when it comes to doing doing these big international tests to, to weigh, weigh everybody up. And Japan does really poorly. And you just know that by talking to them, you talk to 17, 18 year old high school kids here, what they know, they don't know much. You know, they just compared to, to, compared to speak to a couple of 17 or 18 year olds from Europe, you know, in, in any of three languages about any sort of topic, geography or history or any sort of topic and you know the results just aren't there so it's it's just the way it is and again as with all our videos we're just telling you what we're seeing but it was just really interesting that we've talked about these topics before and then and then now and again you know they come out with one of these studies and it, nothing will change nothing will change these studies come out and they you know we found that you know, we're number 20 in the world for, for productivity, you know, but it won't change the way they do anything. You'll still have eight Gardaman standing around here while three guys dig a hole on the street. You know, they'll have eight guys standing around for safety, directing traffic while three guys dig a hole. They'll still do that. And they'll still have their, their pointless meetings every week and they'll still fill out pages of reports that nobody reads and they'll still do all that. And they'll still sit at their desk pretending to work because the boss is still there. You know, that, that, that a lot of that goes on here. You know, the boss is still in his office pretending to work, so all the guys sit, sit at their desks pretending to work until the boss goes home. And not, not much is getting done. You know, we're about to drive past the convenience store. You go past there in the afternoon and there's often all sorts of workers sitting around there in their company cars, you know, eating, eating food or watching TV or smoking cigarettes or, you know, just not being in the office. They're being out in their car you know, sitting at the convenience store and you drive past an hour later and they're still there <laughs> in their suit, sitting in the company car, you know, it's like, well, their boss thinks they're out, out doing something, don't, don't they? You know, so it's obviously, it won't change, as with all these things that we see, they don't change, you know, it won't change anything. It doesn't matter who reads that report about them being 20th for productivity, nobody's going to say, well, let's do something about it. They won't. And even if they do, their solutions to these things are usually terrible. Like, you know, we talked about that with the with the, the, the school tests. You know, that they, they, they score really, really badly compared to other countries when it comes to English. And and the last time that got brought up in, by the government, the government was talking, we need to improve the English. You know, so we're going to have their solution was to have a test of English before students enter university. Their solution was another test. Not to, not to change their learning system so that students actually learn English properly, but to give them another test, you know, and obviously that's not going to change anything. All that's going to do is it's going to give them more statistics about how terrible everybody's English is, you know. So it's just, it's amazing to watch. It is amazing to watch. And, and, and it's incredible when, you, when it's obvious 
you know, a lot of the stuff here like this is just obvious and you just know it before they, you know, you don't need a report to know this stuff. In, and we didn't, did we? We've already talked about all this stuff before this report came out and and it's obvious. And they'll all, and they'll all go, oh, oh, that's no good, is it? Oh, it's not good, we're not productive. Oh, dear, oh, dear. And let's let's do some more reports on it and let's let's write some more, you know, let's have some more meetings and write some more reports, right? Waste some more time and talk about it and, and write reports about it and talk about it and write reports about it and then it fades away and then you don't hear about it for a while again until the next OECD report comes out probably, you know, and that's what happens with the English, that's what happens with the school systems, you know, it comes up, now and again these things come up because of these reports and because of these tests and things and it comes up it's in the media for a little while you see them talking about it and there's lots of mmm doshio doshio what should we do what should we do and then it fades away again and nothing changes and off it goes and again look you know it doesn't affect doesn't affect us so this isn't again it's not a complaining video or a criticizing video or anything it's just a purely observational video this is what we see um, you know, if anything, our, our, our sort of attitude towards it and our thinking about it is more out of amazement. You know, it's just amazement, really, that you look at it and, you know, it's school holidays at the moment. The kids, most of the kids have just had two weeks and we drive past the Juku, you know, and, and the kids are all at Juku. All their bikes are lined up outside Juku and they're all inside doing homework or lessons, extra lessons. They have extra lessons during the holidays. And they'll be doing lots of homework and extra lessons and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, the result is nothing, really. It doesn't really achieve anything. It's sort of a waste of time. So, you know, same as the workers, the people that we know who, who, who you never see. We've got friends. We've got friends and neighbours who you, you rarely see the, the, the father in the family because he's at work all the time. He leaves at, leaves at 7 o'clock in the morning and comes home at 9 o'clock at night and you never see him. You know, you have some social event on the weekend and he's not there because he's at work, you know? And, and so you see all this going on, but at the same time, you know, not, not much is getting done. You know, it's just all faffing. And, and the system, as with all these things here, they're so deeply ingrained. It's such a cultural thing. And that's why we make these videos, because this is more than just about economics or just about business or just about money or it's more than that. This is Japanese culture in action. You know, this is what Japanese culture is like, is, is these, these ways of doing things. I mean, there's a lot, as you know from our videos, we've made lots and lots and lots of videos about all the amazingly good stuff in Japan. There's loads and loads of it that's really, really excellent. And there's a lot of stuff in Japan that's done really, really well and really high quality and really, really excellent. And, you know, we make videos about that too. Uh, but but there's so much stuff like this that that is is it, that they want to improve on, you know. That the government says, oh, we need to improve that. You know, they know that they don't want to be twentieth of the OECD countries when it comes to productivity. That's embarrassing for them. They don't want to be twentieth, you know, and they don't want to be scoring really low on the English proficiency test. They're always talking about trying to improve the English, you know, the, the standard of the English in Japan. They're always talking about it. And they're always talking about trying to be, you know, better at everything, but they don't do anything about it. It's just amazing to watch. It's just amazing to watch. And this endless cycle of these things come up, and they get talked about, and oh dear, and lots of reports, and lots of, mm, lots of people on TV, lots of old men on TV talking about it, and yes, 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 and everybody listens and goes, hmm, that's interesting, you know, and then nothing happens. Nothing happens because change isn't something that anybody here is sort of interested in. You know, doing anything differently to the way it's done now isn't something that anybody thinks about. And they'll even study the way other people do it. You know, they'll study, they'll send people off to Finland to study the Finnish education system and they'll send people off to Ireland probably, n next week probably, to study why Irish productivity is, is so much, is double is double that an Irish worker in 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 Ireland uh, a worker in Ireland can be twice as productive as a Japanese worker you know and they might send people off to, to study that and do reports on that but nothing will change they won't come back and say hey look you know never heard never heard things that that have been common outside Japan for a long time time and motion studies and productivity studies and all that sort of stuff you just don't hear about that here 
they're just not interested in that you know it, it's the reluctance to change the reluctance to do anything different and the and the 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 desire to not rock the boat and to not you know as as we've told you before you know if you if, if there's something that's being done here that's not not a, not being done well it's not being done in a good way and you can see a better way to do it or you know just because outside Japan people do it in a different way that's much more uh, effective if you say that here people are going to be thinking oh you think you're smarter than everybody else and as we told you a family member once said that you know there was something that everybody does the same way and I said why why does everyone do it that way what why doesn't why doesn't anybody do it you know outside Japan that thing is done this way why is in Japan, you know, and the family member said, you think you're smarter than everybody else, don't you? Which, which, you know, is, it's rare for a Japanese person to actually say that to you, but that's often what they're thinking. That's often what they're thinking, and that's why they don't say something. That's why the, the person at work who knows that most of the people around him are wasting their days not doing anything, or well, they know they're wasting their days not doing anything, they're not going to say anything to their boss because... That's their feeling is that if, if the boss has told them to do things like do the, 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 the long report that no one's going to read, that if, if, they, if they say they don't want to do it or if it's a waste of time, hey boss, this report's a waste of time, that that's going to be telling the boss they think they're smarter than the boss um, or that they're lazy. That's the other thing is that if you have a better way to do something or if you have a way to do something that's going to be, be more efficient and, be, and get the thing done in, in a shorter amount of time, then they think you're trying to cut corners. Because there's this natural thing in, in the Japanese psyche that, that you know, it, it, things should be hard to do and take a long time to do and there should be lots of faffing. That means you're being thorough. You know, if, if someone takes three hours to do something and then you come along and you do it just as well in 30 minutes, they're going to think, oh, he's not, he's not being careful. He's not. Even if the result is the same result, they'll still think, oh, he's cutting corners and he's, he's not being careful. He's not being thorough and it's too fast, too quick, too quick. You know, it's just so deeply ingrained. And and uh, no doubt anybody that's li lived here for a while will be sitting there nodding because you know, anybody that's worked for a Japanese company <laughs> will recognise all this. You know, and know that it's true. You just cannot. You know, and it doesn't matter if there is a better way, and you know there's a better way, and you know there's just the reluctance to change, and all these other, all these other cultural points are what are what make the, the, things the way they are, and, and why nothing changes. You know, so anyway, there it was, and and no doubt it'll fade away. We'll hear about it in the media a little bit probably not too much because they don't that's the other thing nobody wants to hear anything that sounds negative or makes them feel bad and saying that Japan scored badly in this you know that was 20th in, for productivity is going to make people feel bad the stuff that gets reported the most in the media here is the stuff that makes them feel good you know some foreigner comes to Japan and says how amazingly clean it is I mean that'll be a big story in the media because that makes everybody feel good but a story that says that Japan's the 20th for productivity is not going to make anyone feel good. No one's going to want to hear that. So most of the media won't even talk about it. So it'll disappear really quickly. It'll, it'll disappear. This story will be here for a, a week. And chances are we'll never hear about it again. It'll just disappear until another similar report comes up sometime in the future. And then we might hear about it again. But nothing will change. That ranking is, lo is not likely to improve. If anything, it's more likely to get worse. So, anyway, there it was. Hopefully someone found that mildly interesting. Sorry about the camera thing. No idea. I lost the front camera there. No idea why. It just sort of disappeared on us, didn't it? Anyway, there it was. More videos coming soon.